Oh, oh, wow. A little, little bit of dance behind him today. Of course. He gained about 50 followers the next trending topic, Jack Pollock making his way to the ring here, and I'll tell you what, what wow. Showing a little acrobatic there. Uh, oh, bouncy, yeah. yeah, maybe he's influenced by uh, Madonna's uh, tightrope walker from the Super Bowl, I don't know, but uh, <laughs> Jack Pollock making his way to the ring. Wait a minute, he wants to, he wants to throw his shirt. Uh-oh, he got his hands full today. Sorry. But like I was saying, he does have his hands full, and he has his hands full with someone, as I like to call, the blue chipper of RWA. That's right. The man, the myth, in my eyes, the future legend here. That's right, Jimmy Nutt. Future legend here of RWA. I'd say three. I give him three years. Yep. Jack Pollock, he's not big, he's not muscly, he's not skinny either, like a G Raver, or Aftermath for that matter. Jimmy Nuts, I mean, he's got some meat to him, but he's not huge, and he's not small either. Like, so you got some very even bodies in here, and Church, Church, quit smiling, please. <laughs> well, of course, Church, uh, you know, man of many words here. Uh, no comment on this matchup so far. Well, so far I'm looking at some bad actor and some guy who, you know, used to be a tag team guy. So Aww. let's see what happens with Kevin. I mean, Jackson Paul. Jackson? Jack Kevin? No, no. What's Jack Pollock. Jack Pollock. Okay. Wow. Jack Pollock. Yeah. Jack Pollock and Jimmy Nuts. This actually ought to be an interesting match. These two, very young, very uh, upstartish, so to speak, trying to make a name for themselves here in RWA. Jimmy Nuts almost made it last month. Oh, he already has a name. In but as I've name. said, it's almost only ever counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Yeah. Well, we got a test of strength. Looks like it's going to be here. Wait a minute. I don't know. Oh, what, what, well, look at Jack Pollock, of course, taller than Jimmy Nuts here. Close to the style of Kato. I mean, Jack Pollock using some eccentricities to play some mind games with his opponent. Very psychological, and I mean, it's actually, it might actually work to his advantage, especially Jimmy Nuts, known as a blue chipper, but also known as a firecracker, and he he kind of losing it. Cool. Yes, he does. He loses his cool, but that also motivates him, and it makes him a better wrestler overall. Well, we got a test of strength going on here, and look at these two go at it. I'll tell you what, evenly matched here. Paula giving, oh, kick to the midsection, and Jimmy Nuts playing that pretty well here, twisting the arm here of the next trending topic. Jack, don't call me Kevin Pollock. He cheated. What? He cheated. He didn't cheat. He cheated. Oh, stop it. Either of you two know the Twitter handle for Mr. Pollock? No, no, we don't. I Maybe, ruined uh, Superman.com or what? Nothing. Wow. Oh, I didn't say anything about Superman. Superman.com? I'm not even in good air. Uh, but back to the matchup here. These two going back and forth. Oh, stepped on his foot there. Another Pollock using... Goal. Yeah, but Pollock, did you see him uh, step on the foot of Jimmy Nuts, getting himself out of that uh, predicament? Wait a minute now, Nuts. Sending Pollock into the ropes. Up and over. Oh, shoulder block by Pollock and a beauty. And Nuts is down. A little bit of power behind that Pollock beard. What kind of takedown was that? But it was impressive. I'll tell you that. Corner like a back take, back leg takedown there. Very smart of Jimmy Nuts to get his feet from under the ropes. I mean, technically, you can't be under those ropes or on the ropes. I mean, when applying a submission. Yeah, a smart move by Jimmy Nuts. I say, like I said before, I mean, every we see him grow every, you know, every time, every month, and he just grows and grows. And again, with the stomping of the toes, 
I'll admit that Jimmy Nuts uh, does put on one heck of a show, and he does improve month in and month out. I'll give you that one, Doc. He does. And he, it, he's only been going for two years, and you'd think he was about, I don't know, four or five years. Well, he's already held. He if you think about it, technically, he's held two titles here so far in RWA. The cruiserweight, not for very long, of course, thanks There's to Jay Ice. 30 seconds. Hey, yeah, your friends. There, he's step, stopping on the fingers of Jack Pollock. Pollock missing with a clothesline now, and oh, beautiful. And another one. And these two are just going at it. And I'll tell you what, Pollock doesn't know where he's at right now. I'm getting my butt kick is trending worldwide on Twitter right now, thanks to Jack Pollock. Oh, jeez. Worldwide, yak wide. Wait a minute. Whoa. What? Pollock a little scared here. And wait a minute, oh, catches him. He caught him using that extra Ooh. And the power. spine into the apron. Jimmy Nuts is in trouble. How's your back, Jimmy? Wait a minute. Pollock's asking Pollock the crowd to move, the fans to move And here we go. Wait a minute. Uh, what do we got going on here? I think Jimmy Nuts is about to taste some chair. Oh. Wait a minute. Now that is priceless right there. I've never seen so many people move in my entire life. You've heard to see like Moses. Jimmy Nuts up. And he just invites... Jack Pollock back in the ring on his own accord. Jimmy Jack Nuts, as you can see, still favoring that back from that vicious, vicious send off into the apron there earlier. Wait a minute, the referee now. No way, come to the eye. What well, happened to Jimmy Nuts? Incapacitated there. Jack Pollock with a thumb to the eye, and I'll tell you what, Jimmy Nuts is in trouble now. Pollock now starting to stomp on that back, that sore back of Jimmy Nuts. Pollock now, oh. The referee trying to warn him there. Jack Pollock trying to punish his opponent. Watch the close fist as referee Tim Cash. Funniest joke is now trending on Twitter. I'm going to be your Twitter feed for tonight. Are you serious? Figure that one out. Uh, you don't know his handle, do you? I thought, it, like I said before, I thought it was, I killed Superman. How about that? How about Vicious Elbow at Twitter.com? Oh, my goodness. Oh. And almost the three count. Got a little bit of a. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Mario. Uh, Are you one of our better fans. Did you say Mario? Was that Mario to scream that? I think that was Mario. No, Mario's over there. Oh, he is? Yeah. He told Church late earlier to kiss his ass. Back to the match. Kiss my ass, <laughs> You know, if you keep saying that name over and over again, we're going to get sued by Nintendo. <laughs> Again, a bunch of rights by Pollock. Nuts in the corner. Jimmy Nuts set in the opposite corner. Here comes Jack Pollock. And he misses oh, oh, oh. with a splash up and over. Wait. Roll up one, two, and three. Almost a three count. I uh, thought Pollock. Thanks to Piv on that one. Oh, close line. Did you see the vicious Short on close line almost. But very well executed by Pollock, though. Give it credit for that. I thought Pollock's head hit the uh, ring post whenever he hit that splash. He came down onto his knees. It's better than falling all the way. I mean, you can get right back up. We Usually, all know about you being on your knees. We don't uh -oh. need to go into that. The ribs in it, right here, I think, is one of the most vicious bruises in wrestling. Why? The spine, the stomach, the abdominal muscles. Everything suffers with that one little end. Oh, again, Pollock. Doesn't doesn't have too much luck running opposite corners there. Pollock in trouble, dazed. Nuts, nuts. Get the momentum back. Wait, Wait a minute, catch it. Oh. Belly, a belly suplex and a beauty. One, be it. two, and no. Oh. Oh. Almost a three count. I'll tell you what, Piv. Pollock is impressive today. He is actually he's wrestling very well. I mean, you know, I think he's sick of all these losses being on his record. I gotta well, get to him, and after a while, he must eventually get a W. I gotta ask you this, Piv. As commissioner, seeing this match, seeing the crowd getting behind this, one of these two have got to be in line for some kind of title shot eventually. Well, that's everybody. But I'll tell you what, Jimmy Nuts is coming back here, guys. Uh oh, uh -oh wait a minute, Pollock missed with close. And wait, Nuts. Oh, Atomic oh, Buster. Oh my goodness. And, and wait a minute. And, and oh, how's your Olsen twins, Jack Pollock? Up and over. Oh, kick to the head. Well, if and the PA regional title wasn't around the waist of an ignorant individual like Ryan Edmonds and, and on someone with some integrity, I'm sure Jack Pollock could, uh, could get up there, maybe even Jimmy Nuts. Jimmy Nuts, it, it was not unnoticed. Oh! oh. Power bomb. 
wasn't on notice that he was. He was completely. <laughs> Did you see how that close? Was stolen from him. Did you see how so close Jim? Did you see how close Jimmy Nuts had that? Very close. Very close. And, and Jack. Pollock just in the nick of time getting that shoulder up now. Nuts lining up Jack Pollock here. What's going to happen? Wait a minute. What misses with him? Up. Pollock got him up for something. Wait a minute. Power slam. Wait a minute here. One, two, and no. Almost a three count. I'll tell you what, Piv. Again, Jack Pollock being aggressive here. You put a little bit of extra hashtag on that. <laughs> and turning the tables here on Jimmy Nuts. And I'll tell you what, Jimmy Nuts, I'll admit it, he's in the middle of the ladder right now. He's one of the guys to beat here in RWA. This could be big. Oh, oh wait a minute. Oh, and I'll tell you what, he got that he got that cinched in now. Wait a minute, is that this Joseph Brooks? What's he doing here? Joseph Brooks, ex-Cruiserweight champion. Joseph Brooks is... Wait a minute, Jimmy, Jimmy Nuts has to be... I mean, he had Jack Pollock right where he wanted him. Wait a minute here. Pollock lining Jimmy Nuts up for something here. I can't believe it. Joseph Brooks. Oh, Wait a minute. Man. Pollock got him up and. Oh my wow. goodness. I'm going to go ahead and call that the trend. Three. Three and it is over. Jack Pollock has won it here, folks. Via upset. Thanks to Joseph Brooks. I can't believe it. The next Trinity Topic has defeated Jimmy Nuts here today. RWA Fury. Jack Pollock is going to be trending pretty soon on Twitter. I can see it already. Oh my God. Jimmy Nuts. I'll tell you what, Joseph Brooks and Jimmy Nuts, these two go way back. I mean, Joseph Brooks has to be better. I mean, he's going to, uh, Jimmy Nuts is the reason. What the heck? Joe, hold on. Let's stop for one second, Joe. We got Bert Legrand. Yeah. They deserve to know it's true. Joe Brooks, why did you make your presence known in this match? Cost of Jimmy Nuts the victory. Because he's a That was Mario. That was Mario, that yes. That was Mario. Well, Bert LeGrand, I'm going to tell you something. First off, this is the classiest man I have ever seen. Thank you. 
ever have matches. That was the greatest match I've ever seen with my own two eyes. Oh, did he really just say that? Did you hear that? Let's not repeat it. Yeah, let's not. Let's keep us PG. <laughs> All right, PG 13. Big, big individual in that oh, ring. Wow. 
And I'll tell you what, to be under the uh, to be under the training, the, under the supervision of Jay Ice, I mean, even though, wow. And here we go. Uh-oh. That's right, a guy who's been here for the last two months and has impressed me each time. Hopefully this time it's just him and not the doctor. But, uh, well, Scott Saren. Scott Saren, the human weapon, he's came here for us a few months ago. He's actually yet to, uh, victory by my count. In my eyes, he's been nothing but impressive. Yes, he has not really had a... I apologize, he had a triple threat win. I'm going to come to that. Thank you. Alberta, Cleveland is a suburb of Cleveland. Oh, stop it. There's no okay. such thing. Yes, as there, is. Al there is. Yes, no there thing. is. Damn Al it the hell. Yes, there is. Unbelievable. We've shown you that before. Quit arguing with me. Up. It's called Photoshop. Here's the problem. If Scott Saren... Wait a minute. Saren, point, he Jay wants Ice a shot taunting. at the belt. Jay Ice taunting the young man Saren. Scott Saren better hope that the chairman of RWA, Mr. J. Ice, didn't bring out one of his friends that he normally has with him. We have a J. Ice fan in the crowd. Oh my God, hell has frozen over. We have a J. Ice fan in the crowd, folks. Wait a minute, look at this already. Same guy who didn't like Ryan Mitchell. You know, I think we have a troll on our mess. And this crowd getting fired up for Saren. I personally agree with that fan. Wait a minute, Ice again, trying to get involved here. With ice on the outside here, Saren's gonna have to keep like some eyes in the back of his head. Now Scott and Saren starting stuff early. And this Billy Uday is a big boy and wow. Yeah, you say that again. I mean he just ran Saren over there. Oh, kicks to the stomach now. <laughs> this guy from Cleveland, Ohio. Sure has a presence about him. Oh, he's going for some kind of choke here. Uh, mounting for a submission here. Saren trying to use his amateur background to get out of this hole. I'll tell you what though, Saren is sticking with him here and I'll tell you what, this, we really don't know much about this Billy Rudin. I mean, he could be a beast. I, what yeah, but I, mean, I, can, I, I can tell, I can tell by seeing him, I can smell it on him. Oh, and a little inexperienced, I would say. Just I mean, by the probably still within the first year or two of competition. I mean, he, he has to watch himself. Any small mistakes in Scott Saren can count. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Our referee oh, being distracted. And, nice. and let, look at his mentor now, though. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. And slammed him on the outside floor. Look at Jay Ice go. I think I might re redact that kind of statement from earlier. Bill Wu Tang. Wooing the referee into talking to some fans. Bill, Billy, I mean, in all honesty, he looks like he could be from, like, I don't know, a suburb of Cleveland, like uh, Reykjavik, dramatic pause, Norway, Cleveland. What? It's a possibility. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, back to the match, and oh, what a vicious suplex by our newcomer here. All right, we've got a three count. One, two, and a throw. And Scott Saren out of that one. Hey, real quick, 
I know this match is going on and all, but I gotta say, this. isn't that referee somebody else? No. no. I've seen him before. No, no you haven't. You're before. crazy. He we've, looked, we've he, I swear, I swear it. He was the poor man Zorro here one time. I swear oh, it. Oh, stop it. Saren off the ropes now. Back oh, in the oh. Wait a minute. Didn't even knock the big man over. Saren. Saren's a little bit uh, frustrated here. Billy Wooten. Oh. The potential starting to pour out of the skin of Billy Wu-Tang here. Wow, did he get much power? Wait a minute, he caught him. Caught him. He's trying to side. catch him. He's got him in a bear hug. Squeezing the ribs of Saren now. Looking in trouble. And look at Jay Ice out there just coaching him. I mean, Jay Ice, you saw some uh, Jay Ice of uh, moves pretty much. I mean, look at Jay Ice. I mean, the, the spinal kick earlier in the matchup. Yes, he's focusing on that part. I mean, Jay Ice saying, a teacher is only as good as his student. And we're seeing uh, that Jay Ice, uh, Having they, a, uh, they have some uh, extra abilities when it comes to the wrestling game, passing his talent down. Jay Ice yelling at him now. Wait a minute, Saren catching him, rolls him up. One, two, three, and it's over. Saren wins it. That was Jay Ice's fault, taking his protege away from the match. That was a fast count by that referee. We mean a fast count. That was Stop a fast it. count. Just like I said earlier, I'm gonna flip it. And it's true as well. A student is only as good as his teacher. Jay Ice messed up, and that cost his tandem a win. And I'll tell you what, Scott Saren victorious again here. Like I said, very impressive. I mean. He's gonna yell the ref. Yeah, he's got Johnny Mac here. Trying to get in his face and see a little bit. Scott Saren now in the crowd. Sharing and celebrating here and Saren now. I can't believe the fact that like, I mean, that was a big man he just took down. Wait a minute, what's going on here? Scott Saren celebrating here tonight. He can't believe it. He over here. Cut away from him. There's a lot of fans here that love him. Scott Saren, victorious again. He's excited, folks. I'll tell you what, this is a big victory for him. Especially a student of pretty much our RWA Cruiserweight Champion. And oh my God, he attacks him from behind. Jay Ice having none of Scott Saren's triumphant victory lap. Wait a minute, Ice is like, I think Ice did that to teach his protege, hey. No matter what, you still attack your opponent. All's fair in love and rape. He's nodding. What? Nothing. Wow. We were just arguing two minutes ago, and now he's nodding. Like, yes, sir. He has the ability. He has the talent. He needs to change the attitude. Oh, my God. Terry Ring making his way to the ring. Wait a minute. Security. Church, did you really just ask quite possibly the most controversial? One of the most controversial. Bob Bonner. Here he comes. And he's coming over now. And Here he comes. First of all, yeah. wow, not too happy with us right now. And I'll tell you what, I actually ran into him earlier. And believe it or not, I can't believe he actually said this to me. He goes, Doc, I'd smack you, but out of the three bastards, you're the only one that supports me. And I can't believe he said that to me. And I usually get beat up and smack around. But believe it or not, he didn't hit me. He just said, you know what? I'm doing what I have to do. And I'm like, okay. But he's here. He's made his way to the ring. He's signed. He's doing what he feels he thinks he has to do, which is completely not how you go Are you kidding me? Really? Wow! 
for you, church. Maybe you're turning the new leaf here. No. What's that? I can't stand that piece of shit. Okay, there you go. And... But I'll tell you what, though. Chris Taylor, love here by Gwen Studer, but... Me. He cussed him out. You didn't hear her? You didn't see that? But he Terry cussed. Ring has caused nothing but you have been here since day one, same as I have. You know that Terry Ring has caused nothing but problems since day one for this company. And he comes in here whining and grinding, bitching, saying that he wants his spot. Well now he has an anime. He doesn't deserve it. Church. And look at wow. Terry <laughs> Terry Ring trying to make quick work of Chris Taylor here. That was probably one of the one of the that's, that's quite a sermon there, Church. I mean... But Taylor, I mean, now wait a minute, Taylor! I mean, Terry Reverse Ring. things, look at those multiple elbows! Wow, straight to the face, you can see that, see their heads and Terry red. Yeah, I, I mean, hope sure. Chris Taylor slams him on the floor. Terry Ring, I mean, he's, he's been wrestling for, I would say, Ooh, face first in the apron. three years. I mean, technically, he's been doing it a bit longer than he has. I remember when, uh... He was on the mic, he blasted me, saying I never trained a day in my life. Uh, well, guess what? Yeah, I know I'm a fat ass. And, no, I have. I have trained a little bit, just a tiny bit. It, and I've trained a good bit in a different curriculum. I've been a manager, I help with Wait a minute. Now I'm doing some commentary. I've been in this business longer than this kid has been. And I can't believe so it. he's so disrespectful. He comes right out of school. And they are down here. Oh, some bitch. They're over Wait here. A There's a shoe. There's a shoe. He's got a shoe. Oh, my goodness. And, oh, and my candy went everywhere. the table. Wait. I, Taylor just took your sprees. I love it. He got sprayed. the hell? That's my candy, damn it. Well, there you go. Jesus. Hey, you got some fans that want some candy. Tough shit. Okay. They can't well. have any. Go buy your own candy. Sorry. He'll accept donations, though. He'll pass the basket around. Okay, back to the matchup here. And I tell you what, Taylor just taking it to Terry Ring. I mean, he is upset here. And I tell you what. Back to the match. Okay. And back to the matchup. Some technical difficulties there, but we're back. I'll tell you what, Terry Ring is getting beat up here by Chris Taylor. And I'll tell you what, it's not his ability. It's not his ability at all. What it is is Taylor, of course, a seasoned veteran. And number two, Terry Ring, very cocky. Very bad attitude, the wrong attitude. I mean, what can I say? I endorse any wrestler who wants to go out there, try to make it in Ring of Honor, in TNA, or even WWE. And in order to do that, you got to put a couple hundred miles on, on your speedometer. But did you see what just I mean, happened? Taylor with the splash. Ring reversing it there, there, stopping the Bulldog and stopping Taylor right in his tracks. He has watched his videos. But see, here's yes, the problem. He and he's traveled. He oh, this just dropped it to the I'm head. sorry, Church, go ahead. Here's the problem with Terry Ring. If you've noticed, what the hell does he do whenever he's in there? He pulls hair, he throws fists, he does everything in the book that can possibly be illegal to do. That's how he was able to do what he just did with the reversal. He pulled Chris Taylor's hair. I mean, look at I his can't face. believe you you're saying this. Like an angry pout. You're taking First the words of all, out of my mouth. Oh, I respect. Way, I don't care what the hell I'm doing. I am on a tirade here. Okay. All right. Here's the problem. I have respect for every single person back there, whether I like them or I don't like them, because they went through, they paid their dues, they paid, they trained, they did what they needed to do to make it in this business. Terry Ring, when we first started in this company, was part of the Ring Crew. He decided on his own to fight that system. He didn't want to be a rookie. He didn't want to take down the ring and put the ring up. He didn't want to pay his dues. But he had the so, talent. That's the I mean, thing, guys. He, he had the talent. I'll actually... And, he has, and, I, and I'm actually going to rebuke you just a little bit. But send he it has into the ropes. Around, and he has paid some dues. Oh, Taylor with a boost to the face. 100%, but in his mind, he feels he deserves the world title in every promotion he's been in. I can and see him getting it. Attitude. Oh, my goodness. Did you see that? The back of Taylor's skull smacking off the mat there. And look at that. Impressive knee. Wow. Here comes Ring. One, two, and look at that. Ring trying to wrap him up there. Ring, I swear, I saw him put something underneath the... 
apron there earlier. I, I couldn't catch I it. I saw him messing with something. I don't know. Maybe it was his sunglasses. I did see Taylor grabbing sunglasses earlier. Yeah, he did. Wait a minute here. Right. And suplex. a well executed oh, suplex. And wait a minute. He's going wait a minute. Oh, oh no. Into a pinfall. He did give him a pinfall. He was going for another one, and Taylor stopped him. I do apologize, Taylor did stop folks. Him. We've been speaking a good bit about the premise of this match, not to mention the controversial And I'll figure. tell you what, again, another There's cover. a pretty good wrestling match coming on right now. That's why I just let you two battle it out a little bit. Well, not really battle it out. You guys are actually agreeing for once. Uh, again, hell has frozen over. Look at that frustration in Terry Ring's face. Slapping. Oh, look, slapping cock. I mean, Come on, Chris Taylor. Very cocky here, slapping the face of Chris Taylor. I just tell you what, Terry Ring, though, he got talent, it's just his attitude. <coughs> That's all there is to it. Wait a minute here. Taylor with a small package. Two and two. Almost the three count there. Wait a minute. Uh oh, wait a minute. Ring up and over. Oh, reverse neck breaker. Can Ring do it? What? Wow, that was directed towards you. And that's another reason why I don't like him. Well, he's kind of upset. I mean, I kind of agree with him. You know, everybody's putting him down. He's a good wrestler. There's he is. Gray. Oh, wait a second. Now, you shouldn't good put his hands on the ref. Every, every time you can get. I mean, it's he does cheat, but, but I mean, smart. if you watch him, though, he does he does exactly what, you know, your beloved Feel Bad Five would do. Cheat in a match. I figured he'd be the poster child here of church people. I think what church church's fans. Say, and I'm sorry we're, we're back to the pragmatic part of our commentary. I think what church means is, in your example with the Feel Bad Five, they demand respect, but then they kind of go out and earn it, even if by hook or crook. Speaking of uh, demanding and earning respect, I mean, I, he ought to be earning something from Chris Taylor here. I mean, rubbing his face in that second with his knee there in the second turnbuckle. Oh, my goodness. Ring is, I mean, tell you what, Ring and Taylor have been beating each other this whole match up. Well, don't forget what, what's at stake for Terry Ring here. I mean, he's been he's burned every bridge that he could, he could in southwestern Pennsylvania, even a couple of West Virginia and Ohio. A win here would guarantee him an RWA contract. I thought he already had one. Oh no. Oh, okay. We're uh, it was agreed by Feel Bad for this match to happen. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm not calling it. Oh, okay. Then I'll say it. You do, and I will slap you. All right. Anyways, that was our. Uh that was a vicious chop by Ring. Now, wait a minute. Taylor coming back here. A couple elbows in the face. It's Taylor. Wow, you really do hate him. Okay. Reverse it. Wow. Hard Irish whip. And Terry Ring sits Terry up Ring. And uh, the very crowd. impressive. And look at him. He's just, he wants people to hate him. Oh, well, you might do that. But here comes Showtime off the second turnbuckle. And hey, impressive. I think he gets fueled by that, though, Pip. Yes. Terry Ring is fueled by everybody's hate, and he wants to show everybody, hey, I can do it here in RWA. And he's showing it. I mean, he's victorious over Scott Prodigy. And him and Taylor, I mean, did you just witness that vicious confrontation on the mic last month? I it's mean... It's just lengthy, and that's another thing. I mean, you got to show respect to the promoter. Uh, as far as making sure that you say what you need to say as soon as possible. I mean, Terry Ring, he took his time. He stole time away from the rest of the show that night. He doesn't listen to anybody but whatever selfish desire is cooked up in his brain. Again, Ring working that arm here of Taylor. Got him in an arm bar here. Oh, bar. Arm bar. He is pulling John the hair. Has to get, make sure he stops with that. And Rain catches himself before he hits that floor. <laughs> Wait a minute. Taylor reversing the hair. Blocked hitting him again. Blocked it again. And another right. Taylor just punching him. Off that apron. I think he's going to welcome him back. Into oh, wait a minute. Drake said. Like neck right over the top. Of, and hey, smart maneuver by Terry Ring. Terry Ring. Hanging out on the apron here. Giving him credit? I'm giving him credit. I'm giving him. Maybe if someone gives him credit, he'll change his attitude a little bit. I'm trying to help this kid. One. We all try to help. And wait a minute. Smart move by Taylor. Putting his foot on the ropes there. Stop it. I mean, if somebody isn't supported... Uh, Wait a minute. Ring thinks he won the match. Ring thinks he won. Referee JD better tell him, hey. Terry Ring. He had his foot on the ropes here. Ring trying to argue it. Are included in this uh -oh. match here. Ring getting frustrated now. Taylor, there is no quitting Chris Taylor. We know this for a fact. Yeah, he's had to be beaten until he was nothing. I mean, before he would, he would submit to anyone. 
And now here comes Waven. Ring, send him opposite ring corner. Oh, boot first, and Taylor trying to get back here to some momentum. Wait a minute. Swinging DDT, and oh, a beauty. Oh, beautiful. Beautifully executed. Ring doesn't know where he's at right now. This is where Taylor has to come back. Getting the energy from the fans, that momentum, trying to swing back. But Taylor, I mean, Ring has been taking it to Taylor. Both of them are down now. So much emotion in this match. I mean, emotion feels a lot of action. The desire to show everyone his own twisted view of the wrestling business versus Chris Taylor's pretty much Chris Wait a Taylor minute. is demanding. Couple back elbows. Taylor up the right. A drop kick by Taylor. <laughs> wait a minute, Taylor lining up showtime. Terry Ring. Taylor, and wait a minute, the referee oh, just. Oh, Johnny Mac eats it. Being the meat of a sandwich there. I know how that feels. But back to the matchup. Jim and Johnny just got taken out. What? I swear that's another referee. That's somebody else. Oh, stop it already. Anyways, wait a minute here. Both these wrestlers can stand. Taylor feels bad. Wait a minute. There did it. Wait a minute. He had something, he has something underneath the apron there, as we speculated. Now it's in his knee brace. Exactly. You better watch. That could really hurt if he lands on it. Oh. DDT by Taylor. And wait a minute here. Ring playing it smart and rolling out the ring so Taylor can't get the count. Terry Ring outside the ring now. Wait a minute, referee is still down. Our referee is hurt. Oh, man. Can we get another ref in there, Piff? Oh, well, the only other ref that I know is uh, Tim Cash. Well, well, where the hell is he at? He's in the back somewhere. I mean, wait a minute here. He's a big, he's a big man. He does, totally wait a minute, there's an there. item. Wait, I see that item. I think it's in the hand of Terry Ring. Oh, my oh, goodness. No. Those are brass knuckles. There's an illegal object. Dirtiest tricks, one of the oldest, dirtiest tricks there is. And Showtime Terry Ring now. Oh no, he's gonna he's gonna escape with a win here. The oh, referee's out. still that out. Fault. That's what happens when you don't think ahead. Wait a minute, did he just count for himself? He did. He ought to know that uh, that doesn't work here in RWA. Is he really? He's kicking the ref. How delusional is he? Is he Terry smacking Rand a ref in the back of the head? He's getting it out again. Oh, wait a second. What the heck? Are you kidding me? Wait, what's he doing now? He's... I think uh, Terry Ring's plan has gone wrong and he's gone to plan B or C here. I don't know what he's, what did, what's he doing now? What's Ring doing? He's mumbling through himself, going, for the, going underneath the ring. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a second. That's a can of beer, isn't it? That's a, I think it's a can of beer. Oh my God, what's about to happen here? Pouring that beer, taunting Chris Taylor. Taylor known for his party in it. Taylor Cutter! Wow. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Up. One, two, three. It's over. Chris Taylor is victorious over Terry Ring, which shows hopefully this is a lesson for hopefully this is a lesson for Terry Ring that cheaters never win. Here 
in RWA. And wow, he earned it in his own manner, but wow, I can't believe it. I guess cheaters do win. Right, church? Wow, everybody, uh, my, uh, I guess my commentary uh, co-hosts here are a little bit in awe. Okay, he just kissed the security guard. Wow. Terry Ring victorious and has a contract with RWA. Oh, my. I can't believe I'm about to say this. I don't agree with cheating whatsoever, but guess what? Chris Taylor got outsmarted. He did get outsmarted, and so did the referee. There they are. Man, they got a lot. I tell you what, this team has a lot of, and that's speed, agility, and now experience when it comes to Lamont Williams. Yes. I mean, Scott Crosby, he's a, he's a perseverer. He hangs in there. He lasted 10 minutes with Shane Taylor to have a contract here last fall. Lamont Williams, he's been going against Ryan Edmonds for the PA regional title. I mean, standing up for women's rights, for civil rights for all people. You have a pretty interesting and tight tandem here, I think. Really? Did you just call him Action Jackson? Yeah, Billy D. Williams is in the ring. No, no. What? What? Really? He's the baddest mofo in the galaxy. Oh my god. Oh, that, I can't believe that that was just said here. I apologize. Oh, you wanna go in the 90s? There we go. It gets worse. There we go. I don't understand you. You you despise Terry Ring, but you love this guy. Oh, and I forgot this is your buddy. He's my buddy! <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh the milkshake's back! To the other half of Burton and uh, oh, you're talking about the blonde guy in red tights, right? I'm talking about that. Yes, that monster. There's a, those two monsters. That, yeah. All right. Well, over that, that isn't really a monster. That's more of a. I don't know what you would call that. Wow, that's just scary. I don't. I can't believe any woman would let him touch. I can't believe a woman would let him touch her like hey. that. I, what? He hates. He smells of beef and cheese. He does not. Wait a minute. Yep, you heard it. Oh, Wait a minute, I think Ice is seeing another kind of championship he wants. See, one thing about Ah, uh, feel bad, got some competition, it looks like. One thing about Jay Ice, he doesn't have any. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Are you kidding me? Oh, whoa, wait a second. Oh, and this is who I think it is. This is the team from hell. Enough said. Another resident of Cleveland. I right? can't believe it.
best of enemies. We might see a cat fight tonight. I don't... Now, Day Ice, if he knows anything about my I'm history... I'm match! If Day Ice knows anything oh, about my history as we're rivals, he would know not to show hard Feel Bad's Calm hand. Down. It looks like Feel Bad and Jay Ice had themselves... Mm. Maybe Burton minutes. should keep his eyes on his opponents and not me when I'm just trying to call a match. The worst of enemies make the best of friends. Well... What we're seeing with Jay Ice and Aftermath right now. Jay Ice and Aftermath, I mean, these two have beaten each other since. Here comes the Oh, Jesus! Like he's looking. Uh, there's nothing, on, there's nothing always, on the run sheet. I always said that I have surprises for Jay Ice. This is a surprise for everyone. Wait a minute. Who's his partner? Oh my God! No way! What? Now that is a shocker. There's only one man who comes after this music. I cannot believe he's back in RWA! No. He's back, folks! No! Shane Douglas oh, no. is here! Shane Douglas is here in RWA, and oh my god, look at everybody in the ring! Is that a standstill? Shane Douglas! Shane Douglas is here, the franchise is teaming up with G-Raver. That is the most extreme team in this matchup. That's all I gotta say. Hands down, you're welcome everybody. Shane Douglas, we did announce that he was coming. I intercepted him. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, what's up? He's asking me a question. Did you sign up? You knew about this? Oh, I called him up. You cheeky bastard. Wait a minute. I didn't do that. Oh my god. Don't call me, Bird. Wait a minute. You, you got some pissed off people. Kev, you got some pissed off people, buddy. I feel the heat. I feel the heat coming from us. What the hell? For over six months, Jay Ice and myself oh my have locked into a mental checkup. Shane Douglas making his way to the ring. The franchise. This is my checkup. I can't believe. I mean, look at, look at. G Raver is just full of smiles. I never seen G Raver smile in my life. But hey, I mean, this is a golden moment for him. What, wait a minute, what's Feel Bad doing here? What? Why? Why, why is he talking to? Why is he talking? Wait a minute. Burton better come over and help his manager there. Uh, feel Bad. Wait a minute, he's calling the. As I stated before, nobody should trust Dr. Feel Bad. Feel Bad has one thing in mind, and that's to get all the gold back to the Feel Bad Five. But wait a minute, did you see me? I'm gonna explain something to you, Shane Douglas, right now. I'm gonna take 10 seconds to do it. Shut up! You did not have to do this. You've been a thorn in my side, off and on, for months. I'm gonna explain something to you right now. If you cross me, if you cross me, even one time, you cross me, I promise you and all these people, 
no surprise. There is a legend in this building. In this building. Not you. What? I have a legend in this building that will reveal himself tonight if you cross me and I'll give you a chance to leave. Right. Hey, Over here, okay, yeah, I understand the franchise. Shane Douglas standing in the ring with G Raver. I mean, I give Lamont Jackson and Scott Prodigy credit. They're sitting on the outside right now. Lamont Jackson. I mean, Lamont Jackson. Lamont Williams. Extra he said, Jackson. He said Extra Jackson. He threw me off. I'm sorry, Mr. Williams. You can beat me up later. But Lamont Williams and Prodigy. Do you see how they're sitting on the outside and they are actually analyzing and planning their attack? And then you got Feel Bad over here, who's actually called together not only Burton and Williams, but Aftermath all, and J.I. Exactly, they got uh, like that. They got a, that's a four-man team right now. And if I may give any strategic advice to Mr. J.I. Obama, it is to not trust Dr. Feel Bad. He'll do anything to make sure his team wins. And J.I. from what I understand, he doesn't he doesn't have any allegiances. It's actually surprising that he has. A fellow Clevelander as a tag team partner here. I mean, he doesn't. He doesn't like me. Oh, he look who's gonna like feel bad. No, I mean, he said it to me himself before. So I'm think, glad you I, signed this. I, Thank you. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shane Douglas. You can't get any bigger in Pittsburgh than Shane Douglas. Perhaps. Wow. Lamont Williams and Scott Prodigy. Looks like Prodigy and Burton are going to start things off here. John, don't call me Andrew Stocky. Burton about to go at it here with uh, like Scott Prodigy. More like I'd say more like a broke ass Michael Clark Duncan. You know he comes over, oh, but you know, bam, Doc with a left hook. I'm probably going to have the Green Mile walked up my ass for that one, but hey, it's worth it. He's going to come over here and slap the case. Probably, out of but hey, I'm used to. Wait, oh, look at that. <laughs> Prodigy already fooling with Burton, and Burton outside the ring now, a little upset here. And I tell you oh, what's funny, you gonna let these people do that to me? Huh? I didn't do this it. This is your fault. I didn't sign it. Can I ask, what? Aren't you the commissioner? Yes. Did you not sign Shane Douglas? Yes. Then why does he want to hit me for it? I tried telling him, and he just, I don't know, he's just scoffed off. And again, there you go. Burton taking his temper out on Prodigy, thank God. Sorry, Scott. But anyways, Prodigy in the ring, and oh, vicious flying, elbow. it's a vicious flying back elbow from the man known as JB. JB knows anytime anything bad happens to him, it's your fault. Who made that up? I told him. What? <laughs> okay, almost a count. I mean, look at that. Trying to get the quick cover here on Prodigy, but you're not going to get Scott Prodigy that easy. Scott Prodigy has gone 10 straight minutes with Shane Taylor, for God's sake. Wait a minute now. Winding up that arm now. Burton here. Wait, Burton's asking. Uh, what? Uh, see? I told you. Jay Ice uh, playing the prima donna role here, you could say. And 
Oh. Ow. Go Strategy. ahead. What's our first point of chops here, sir? Actually, the Stop second. Ah, shut All your right. mouth. We don't mention his name. Pick me. Pick me. Front row. Scott Prodigy, he's quite a talented man, but I mean, we lasting 10 minutes with notorious Shane Taylor, that can't be his only accomplishment. I'm sure that's what's on his head. He's as driven as all other teams. Did you hear that? his first goal in RWA. And go ahead, Church, say it. You know what? Here's the thing. Nothing oh, against. Church. I've already called it. Oh, okay. Nothing against Shane Taylor because by all means, we all know I love Shane Taylor. Here's the issue. Shane Taylor, wow, devastating is just one man. Scott Prodigy is now in there against six other people, basically. Yeah. But look at look at look over here. Look at do you see how Douglas and Raver yeah. are talking right now? It's like it's like it's like Yoda and Obi-Wan. <laughs> Alright, sorry. Uh, no, Williams up and over. And a drop kick. Two and no. Bodie Williams I took a drop kick and a half from the first black president of professional wrestling, Lamont Action Williams. Oh, wait a minute. Here comes Blind the tag here. Against the young big man Bodie Williams. I believe, I believe, I, it hasn't been confirmed. I believe the newest member of the Feel Bad Five, he's, he's getting his lip stretched out joking. right now. But you know what, though? That's franchise for you. Punishment. Wait a minute. Oh, oh midsection here. Right well, here comes the high flyer. The only person I think is as fast as aftermath in this match. Bodie Williams now, sent to the roast by G. Raver. G. Raver, line him up and oh! Leg Larry almost. The beauty. <laughs> took my took a page out of my book, huh? Shane Douglas Thanks. coming back in. Oh, kicked out of midsection now. Look at these two. Very well executed tag team wrestling. Look, G Ravers just pumped. I mean, to be t tagged up with a legend like the franchise Shane Douglas. And oh my god, look a at multi that. A multi time former tag team champion. You're talking partnered up with. Oh, axe handle Justin across Rose. the face. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, and he's held tag team gold before. Yes, he has, and I'll tell you what, though. No one can forget get his legacy, though. His legacy of extreme. That's all I got to say about the franchise. Shane Douglas. Oh, yeah. He, he made Philadelphia a happy place to be. And he, and he makes sure that whatever's on his mind is said. I mean, the gift of outspokenness from a free mind like that. And he's seen and done it all, and he's actually gone through a plenty of tragedy in his life as well, losing his teammates into this business. So he's looking to... And did you see the double suplex by him and G. Raver? Bodie Williams needs to get out of there. Burton has to figure something out here. And giving back to the younger generation, such as G. Raver, that is the franchise's mission now in pro wrestling. Wait, wait a minute now. Bodie Williams... Playing it smart. And t did you see Aftermath tagged in? Wait a minute here. Wait a minute. Okay. Aftermath tagged himself in and is now taking it to Bodie Williams. And oh! oh my. And look How's at Jay Ice. Mama? And look at that alliance dissolving in an instant. The old bad will stab you in the back. So will Jay Ice. They never should have even been Got a point there, and I'll tell you what, Aftermath now, he is one of the most impressive, talented wrestlers I've seen in this company. And I'll tell you what, it's actually smart of him to tag, especially with his arch nemesis, Jay Ice, because I mean, my God, these two know each other through and through. Yeah. So I think their double team efforts are going to be amazing. And with the loss that Aftermath uh, had, oh, I Burton. Scott Saren, I, that fueled his aggression. Did you see Burton get kicked by Aftermath? Nice kick there by Aftermath. Figures you'd cheer whenever JB gets hurt. I'm not cheering. I'm just saying, wow, oh my goodness. Elbow and chops and elbows galore here. It's like a Ponderosa buffet of just pain. And now Burton returning a favor. Trust me, I know it's like to be thrown by that man. It's not too pleasant. Aftermath, oh, needed a face in. Wait a minute. Oh, Aftermath and Williams. Look at Lamont Jackson. Lam Action Jackson. Coming in, jumping Jack Flash even. Jumping in there and trying to get a pin on JB when he was down. I'll tell you what, now we got some, oh, oh wait a minute, here comes, whoa, whoa, whoa. here comes Williams! 
And he is, oh, it's a Gurry outside. And that is one of his signature moves, and it is beautiful, folks. I just want to know when Whoopi got her hair cut. Oh, my God. What? You heard me. I can't believe you. Burton off the ropes. And wait a minute, reversing it on Williams. And again, the power of John Burton. Close line in Lamont. Action Williams here. Lamont. John Burton, the big enforcer, the big homie of the field bad five, teamed up with Oh, oh wait, wait a minute, he just threw him into his own tag team partner. What the hell? Why was Bodie Williams standing Wait there? a minute, Burton! One, two, and three! Oh my god! And kiss Go that gold goodbye, Mr. Burton. And I can't believe it. Bodie Williams and John Burton are eliminated, which means Burton basically has just lost his tag team championship again. Yeah. It's your I mean, fault, Doc. I have to stand what? corrected. I thought this was one fault to a finish. It looks to be a four-way elimination tag team match, which means it's just more wrestling for our paying customers. Well, that's what the uh, RWA family. That's 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 what uh, what's his name over there said whenever he was in the ring before he announced the first. Day. It's an elimination match. All right. Wow! Look at the just the agility and the quickness of aftermath here. Wait a minute, Aftermath yelling at, that's one man you don't yell at, and that's the Lamont. franchise, Over Shane Douglas. Corner. Over in the other corner, Jay Ice, and, but pressing the, the face of Lamont Williams into the turnbuckle. There's some history there, folks. Uh, oh, Tim Cass. Look at these two, look at these two work together very well. Honest to God, I can't believe it. JB is disappointed, and it's all your fault, Doc. Feelbad 5 is out of here, but it looks like Feelbad and his uh, tall drink of milk <laughs> is still out here. And as you can see, the love is spreading here at West Newton for Jay Ice. Oh my goodness, I think he just exploded his chest. Oh. Ice with a beautiful elbow to the head of Lamont Williams. Wait a minute. Prodigy in the break up the count there. Wait a minute. Lamont trying to get a breather here. But Ice playing smart tag team wrestling and tags his partner Aftermath keep, in. Keep I can. the opponent in their corner, yeah. Oh, kick to the midsection. And these two are doing some great tag team wrestling. I give them credit. Even though, you know, Jay Ice isn't the most uh, fair. This Man, is one hell of a tag team. They are a tag I'm team, and I tell you what, it. they are doing a great job. I admit, they are keeping their opponents in their corner. They are working together. They know each other's moves. All right, all right. I can give credit where it's due. I just, I'm shocked. I'm still can't believe I'm watching these two on the same team. Oh. And if you notice, uh, Dr. Philbat has stayed out here. Yeah. I think he wants to see what, or if, I should say, he frames out. Oh, now that was an impressive maneuver. Well, yeah, Shane Douglas led a feel bad suck stamp. You know that the arrogant owner of the company is going to stick out here. Did I mean, you see that stick. arm drag caught into a reverse neck breaker by Lamont? So unbelievable. And yet pristine by Aftermath. What a. Wow. That's all I say. Is Lamont wow. doesn't. I, look here. Aftermath doesn't even know where he's at right now. Wait a minute. Here comes Ice to break up the. Again, Ice breaking up the tag. Smart maneuver. Aftermath lining up Lamont Williams for something here. Jay Ice has done that move in the past. Almost like a... Oh, wow. Drop Look out his Targeting the back of the knee. And Lamont Williams is known for his trouble with his knees. Oh, yes. I cannot believe this. First, Aftermath again. Oh, working that leg now. That's right. Decimating his opponent. Douglas and Raver just waiting to get in that ring. They look like two dogs ready to eat. I mean, they want to fight. Prodigy trying to get his, uh, trying to tag his. Oh, oh, oh. Prodigy yep. knocked to the outside now. Again, Aftermath playing smart tag team. Right and and wait a minute, the referee. Referee, Tim Prodigy Cass. better realize here, you can't do that. Wait a minute here. Lamont Williams. Showing some agility here. Tim Cash. Oh, wow. Kick to the chest, a.k.a. face. 
by Aftermath, and I'll tell you what. A chest is also known as a face? It went up his chest and into his face. It was like Jesus. a vicious kick. Sorry. Yeah, I, I Somebody come out I, and take I, Doc out. If that were true, then I bet a lot of people would love to kiss that lady on the lips then. Oh, wow. Unbelievable. Aftermath, where he's most dangerous. Oh, Beautifully there. executed. Almost a three count. I tell you what, did you see the agility of Aftermath on that? The height, the air that he got. Scott Prodigy needs to uh, get in there and make sure that. Either that or G. Raver and Douglas. I mean. Yeah, they're biding their time. And I'm sure that's something that Douglas told Raver. If you don't have to wrestle, then that's just more time. Oh, words, words that the franchise has with Dr. Feelbad now. Did you see the choke? Wait a minute, speaking of choke and submission. What well, does Williams got him in some kind of maneuver there? He's choking J. Ice. Oh, he's choking J. Ice. MMA style here. Can't Ice break free? Almost like a. And oh, a wow. brilliant maneuver by Aftermath. Jokes are illegal. Lamont should have known that. But hey, I'll tell you what, Lamont Williams had Ice on the pretty much. Ready to tap, but Aftermath putting a stop to that one. Oh my it sounded God. like a shotgun went off just now. Oh. Ice, catching him in the icebreaker. That's the move he That's used it. to win the Cruiserweight title. One, two, and three, it's over. That's it. couldn't make it in time. I can't believe it, Williams. Showed up, Scott Prodigy. I bet you Scott Prodigy doesn't like that. Well, he got stopped by the referee so often, I'm sure he was a little hesitant to get into there. We are down to two teams, folks. Aftermath and Jay Ice. Aftermath G Raver in the ring right now. And these two, oh my goodness, Fire this is going to be a cl yes, two Clash of the Titans here. All right, Raver sending Aftermath to the opposite corner. Wow. Raver line them up. Wow. Tell you what, did you see the agility of G Raver? Rolling around into there. All right, franchise Dang, now. Franchise Shane Douglas, five time world champion. Back body drop. One, two, and no. And the franchise couldn't get the pin. But I'll tell you what, again, look at the fresh tags these guys have. They are fresh. They, they've sat on the apron for a good couple of minutes. <laughs> and I'm sure that was Douglas's suggestion. We may be looking at the franchise saying Douglas I mean, as a champion in RWA. Which would be amazing, but oh, wait a minute. Raver catching himself. I don't know how he just did that. Oh. Needed a face. One miscue, and that's all Aftermath needed. And Aftermath, oh, oh wait a minute. G. Raver just hanging there. Oh, my God. And... Did you just see that right off the second rope? And Aftermath, again, it is just impressive after impressive maneuver. Almost a three count Aftermath. Almost just took out G. Raver. Feel bad it's still out here with his eye on the franchise. J. Ice climbing the rope. Let's see what happens. Oh, again, tag team wrestling. These two. Playing smart here, and now, oh, look at this. Uh, taunting him before snapping that kick right into his pectoral. G. Raver and J. Ice have a massive feud going on here in RWA. I don't know if it made DVD or not, but uh, during the intermission last month, G. Raver got attacked again. Yeah. No thanks to you. Right. I had nothing to do with that. Uh -huh. I was talking to J. Ice. He asked me to hold his coat. Uh, Jay Ice and G Raver, their history is now bordering on a year's length in RWA. Lots of hate between those two. Lots of hate. That might actually uh, be the longest uh, consistent feud we've had in a long time. I will say this. Look at this now. Uh oh. Ice now. Lining up Raver. Wait a minute. Reversal. Raver. Close lined. Oh. Jay Ice. And both are down. I mean, Raver, a lot was taken out of him just now, especially with Aftermath and him beating on him. I can't believe it. 
And G. Raver's hurt. G. Raver is hurt, but I'll tell you what, he's struggling. I mean, he's holding his ribs there. Come on, Raver. Get him in. No. Oh, I and mean, he's dragging his foot now. And you may have heard the explicit from Shane K. Douglas. I mean, he wanted in very, very badly. Wait a minute now. Aftermath. Pretty much got him in a chin lock here. Well, after Jay Ice worked over the ribs of G Raver, trying to cut the air away from G Raver, he's got to be hurting for air as, it's, as it is right now. So this makes sense to do. I, I, I wow. Wait a minute now. G Raver's hurt, but he's coming back here on Aftermath. Aftermath, oh. He's hurt badly. He yes, he is. Make that tag. Oh! Did Jay Ice? Yes, he did. He just planted the franchise. Get him out, ref. Oh, dear God. Come on, Cash. Franchise has to understand. He has to get outside that ring or that referee's going to be distracted. Aftermath setting him up for something. Oh, oh. spinal tap. And a beauty. This might be the end of G. Raver here. I mean, you got Aftermath and I, J. Ice, who's had G. Raver's number from time and time again. Yes, he has. I mean, it's it's almost. I'm sh I'm sure if I were if I were J. Ice, taking on G. Raver would be like. Well, well wait a minute. He's like at the top. The New York Giants taking on the Patriots. They'll beat him each time. Oh, oh my wow. goodness! Have and you noticed? as Aftermath was climbing the ropes. Jay Ice went over and they were still talking strategy. Yes, and that is the, the mark of a elbow, great tag team. The corner. And there's the tag. And these as two much, are just left much, and right. As much as I hate this man, I cannot doubt his mind. I mean, that's why it's chess. Chess is a game of respect. And, and I respect how methodic he is. Wait a minute I here. I just don't like him. Got a little action smash action going on here, looks like, and oh my goodness! If G Raver wasn't hurting for air before, he certainly is now after that double right. stomp. Off of J Ice's knee? Yeah. Wow, it looks like a satanic demolition or something. Jeesh. Oh, look at that, and Douglas. Shane Douglas is informing J Ice that he's number one. <laughs> Do you hear this crowd getting behind G. Raver now? The referee needs to focus on the match and less on Shane Douglas. Don't get me wrong. It's an honor to ref a match with Shane Douglas in it, but come on. Oh, yes, Aftermath yes. misses. Wait a minute. Insiguri and a beauty. Aftermath. Oh, Aftermath, you corner. just got knocked. The Never mind. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. not in the corner, PG. though. But better down. Raver has a chance to tag in the ECW legend. Can't say that. We'll get sued. Why am I always one of my new people about what we'll get sued for? Oh, we're too poor to get sued. Okay, back to the action. Douglas begging. Begging Raver for the tag. Look at it. Look at it. Raver's just struggling Jason. here. Jason. What the hell? Wait, wait, what, what, hey. what, what, what's... No! No! Yes! yes! Are you kidding me? Oh, Lord. Oh, no. In the ring with oh, these no. two now? No, no. Piv, did you... No, no, I didn't notice. Feel bad. Feel bad. Oh my lord, feel bad. I can't, I already hate feel bad as it is, but I can't forgive him for this. Oh my god, this what is, is happening amazing. here? He's handing Jay Ice the tag titles. No. Oh my goodness. Did you see that power bomb into a reverse neck? Wow. One, two, three. And we have new tag team champions, folks. Jay Ice. Wait a minute. 
And it is, is a double champion. It's a dual champion here in RWA. Oh my God. The first dual champion is Jay Ice. You're kidding me, right? How can I get you? Ladies and gentlemen, we are witnessing history. Oh my Lord. Shane Douglas was my checkmate. I said it. He was my checkmate against Jay Ice. Why is Shane Douglas... Why has he done this? How lucky can someone be? Jay Ice. I can't Dual believe champion. it. Two titles. About and he goes, don't even mention it. And I said, okay. And he just patted me on the head and walked away. And I thank God that I'm still here today to say that story. That was probably the best thing you ever did in your life. I shut up right away. And here's Church's favorite wrestler. Really? It's Kato. It's Kato. Kato making his way to the ring now, and he's adored by fans now all of a sudden. He was really hated here a little while ago, but... Uh, he still is. Well, by you. Yeah. What? Uh, you know what? He's not even looking at Kato right now. 
staring into the camera like it's a piece of beef. Uh, the thing is, Taylor, coming off one of the most hardest losses. I mean, basically, if you want to sum it up, Church, Taylor's pretty much upset. All that work he could say for nothing. You know, injuring Mitchell's father, torturing Mitchell, beating up his best friend. Everything you could imagine, he did to him. And then to just have that loss. I mean, don't get me wrong. It was one of the best matches in RWA history between him and Ryan Mitchell. But he... He doesn't even want to look at Kato. He is... Shane Taylor's going to beat the hell out of the referee here in a minute. Well, was that the referee of the, um, of the Mitchell match? Uh, yeah, I think it was. Oh, man. Yeah. Um, Shane Taylor is definitely not a happy camper at this particular moment. Kato just circling Shane Taylor. First off, I don't think... First uh, of all, Taylor has not left the middle of the ring yet. Kato knows what to do with Shane Taylor. And I have a bad feeling what Shane Taylor is going to do to Kato. All right, first of all, Kato has to understand Shane Taylor is coming off probably one of the biggest losses of his career. And I mean, don't get me wrong, Shane Taylor fought a hell of a match last month. He is just and take that's like dangling a piece of meat in front of a lion. Hello again, guys. I I had to calm down after that last match. All right, well Piv's back and he's not. Oh my God! Here comes Taylor. Kato's Kato's trying his best. Um, <laughs> first of all, Shane Taylor is going to murder Kato. Do you realize this is the the. This is the match after Ryan Mitchell's law, lost to Ryan Mitchell. I feel really bad for Kato. Yeah. I mean, Shane Taylor, after suffering that huge loss, I mean, I'm sure he's not too happy at all. Kato getting in his face? That's not a good move for Kato. Oh, oh. Holy oh shit. Oh, oh, my God. Whoa, into, into the corner. corner. And here goes the monster, Shane Taylor. Oh my. oh my goodness, I heard that. Oh my god. Those are just straight up fists. Up and oh my goodness, and a vicious clothesline. A locomotion into the corner and Kato stops on on his tights. Ain't gonna do any good. Oh, wait a second. Uh, wait a minute, this isn't uh -oh. supposed to happen. <coughs> um, what is the wait, the referee's do? leaving. Yeah, if I were the referee, I'd get the hell out of there too. Oh my god, this is not about to happen. Wait a minute, Kato reversed it here and kicked that chair into Shane Taylor's face. The thing and is... And Shane Taylor's pissed. It's not going to improve the situation. Uh, duck into the corner and... Wait a minute now, Kato. Nuts, man. Yeah. You're a ref, you need to get in there. The referee just... That, man. The referee is scared of Shane Taylor. Wait a minute, and a kick to the Olsen twins. I ain't rang no bell yet. I ain't getting there again. Ladies okay. and gentlemen, well, referee Tim Cash is, uh, has, hot, has hit out uh, behind us. Tim Cash has said. I guess there are no rules in this match right Wait now. Wait a minute. Well, here's the thing. Tim Cash just said he didn't ring the bell yet. This match hasn't officially started. What, what? What's he doing? Wait a minute. What's Kato doing? Is Kato under... Kato's Wait, going what? For what? A what? Are we having a TLC match all of a sudden? Or what, what, what? This isn't going to be good. Or a chairs match. I would... I, it, if I had a four... Like, what? Wait a minute. That one's broken. Yeah, try another one. Yeah, that's not a good chair. I, I don't understand what's about to happen. Oh, oh my God. Oh, dear God. What's he gonna do? He thinks he's Kato, gonna slam Shane he's Taylor. He's gonna try to slam him. Kato thinks he's gonna powerbomb him. 
Oh, oh my god. Oh my oh god. No. Oh my god. Oh my god, I think Kato is she crippled. She wants a microphone. She wants a microphone. Somebody get her a microphone. She's yelling at us. I don't want her over here angry at us and Shane will come over angry. Yeah, exactly. Kato's officially crippled. She is still like Kato is something. Oh, I... Oh, Ryan. A good, that's not a good thing. I, I think we all may have been a little bit foolish. Um, referee trying to pull Kato mean, out. One loss isn't going to stop a monster. I mean, oh no. Shane Taylor's reign of domination is going to continue even after Uprising 4. Kato I, I just is can't. unconscious right now. Kato, oh, is he no. dead? Oh no. I, um, I already know where this is. He's going to be. What can I do against him? I can't do that. Yeah, go in there and stop him. screaming at me to do something. Uh, you are the commissioner I'm, there, Piv. I'm powerless. <laughs> go ahead and stop him, Piv. Let's see Wait, what he, he just said take a good look at your... B oh, my God. Now, there's going to oh, be some man. power behind that metal. Oh, dear God. What? Wait a minute. This female, wait, his lawyer getting in, fr getting in front of him. This lady, I mean, I think about what? She's saying to think about it. Oh, wait a minute, and Calvin McGrath is here. Here comes Calvin McGrath, the heavyweight champion. And he is here to aid his friend. The Swolger is going nuts and oh. Wait a minute. And just like that, in one clothesline, look at him licking his lips. He smells that gold. He Calvin should have never got involved with this. Oh my God. How can he not get involved? I've in never. He, he bested one monster in Shane Valentine, and he need, somebody needs to make sure that Shane Taylor stops. Altogether stops. Do you realize? I've never seen Calvin McGrath handled like that before in my life. Did you see how Calvin flew? This notorious monster still on the loose. Ryan Mitchell may have bested him, but that took a 20 minute war. Shane Taylor is not done with RWA. Shane Taylor has in zero words announce his intentions here in RWA, and that is to take out everybody in his path. And the connection is now reaching to me now. I mean, Calvin McGrath, I mean, having been taught by Cato, showing concern for his mentor and trainer, very badly hurt. After that, I, I actually forgot, it was it a power bomb that Cato took to the chairs? No, it was a uh, reverse neck breaker. A reverse neck breaker. To three chairs. Oh. They had two chairs set up and then another one across it. Oh my god, they are calling for they're calling There's they're calling the for some help here. They're calling for the doctor somewhere. Piv, go up and check them out. See what the hell's going on. Wait a minute, here comes here We're comes not real get bad. Ring. What is Feel Bad doing out here? He's not even involved with no, the entire he, Shane he, Taylor saga. He's checking on the welfare of one of the talent here at RWA, despite what he thinks of them. Guys, Kato hasn't moved. I mean, again, Kato, you know, a fun-loving guy here. Oh, my God, there's extra RWA wrestlers uh, coming out here. I mean, folks, Nuts is out here. Uh, so is uh, folks, I think they're getting the neck brace Fo together. Folks, a couple of weeks ago, an accident befell a, a wrestler in the region. I mean, he, his C4 was fractured. He had to have surgery. And then, just last week, there was a TNA wrestler on TNA pay-per-view. He got his C1 
vertebrae hurt. I mean, necks are very fragile when you really think about it in a business like this. Man. I think I may have said too much already. Despite what I think of Kato, the fact that I'm seeing him move his legs and his hands are a good sign. It's they are just, getting the neck brace together. They're trying to snap it together so they can put it on him. I just, if it wasn't for uh, Calvin McGrath interfering there, it just, excuse me, interjecting because the match didn't even ever got started. Um, you know, thank God, like I just, wow. I, you know, Cato, look here. I know Cato gets on your nerves. And Cato, I, you know, fun-loving guy, was just trying to. Get the crowd going, and it just antagonized Taylor, who was already upset over Ryan Mitchell uh, de- getting defeated by Ryan Mitchell last month. I just, I'm at a loss for words here. I just can't believe it. Cato's. I think we're all at a loss for words, and we'll just let the images do the talking. Yeah, pretty much. Kato being helped out of ring here. Especially now that Mr. Riot Ruckus and Rock, Joseph Brooks has decided to come out and pump the crowd back up. Well, this is the first time you're going to see Joseph Brooks without that RWA Cruiserweight title. I, I would suggest being quiet for a minute. Yeah, shut good up, idea. Up, Very good idea. Go. the ring with. What'd you call her? A vixen. You called her something else. No, I called her a vixen. She looks like a strawberry banana smoothie right now. I, I'm going with the colors. Okay, good, uh, good analysis there, Pip. But now this crowd's about to explode.
I mean, so many opportunities could open up for him. And I've said this before, even though I don't really like who he's affiliated with, Joseph Brooks he's could. One of, he's one of the best we got. Exactly, and he could be a contender for that RWA Heavyweight Championship. Joseph Brooks is looking to avenge the screw job that happened last month whenever he lost his title. And what a way to avenge it by beating Ryan Mitchell. And again, that anti-fan who's here in the crowd tonight. I like him. It's a <laughs> He's a great guy. <clears throat> Ryan Mitchell getting this crowd pumped up. One-on-one -on -one with Joseph Brooks. I don't know if we've seen this match one-on-one -on -one before, have we? I don't know if we've ever seen these guys go out and maybe a tag match or something away. Oh, and Joseph Brooks, there it is. Like I said before, playing with Ryan's head. I, I do remember a long time ago, back when we had a show in Allenport, Pennsylvania, Joe Brooks uh, took, on, took on Ryan Mitchell and Ashton Amherst in a triple threat match for the heavyweight title. Joseph Brooks was not a member of the Pearl Bad Five, but, I mean, let's just say he was starting to be at that point. Let's just say this. I think it was more the fact that Joseph Brooks, after that match, that's where Feel Bad really noticed him and was like, I, w I want this guy. <clears throat> Ryan Mitchell showing, uh, is he trying to, s never mind, showing a little bit of uh, arrogance himself. And he's, he's one of the best in the whole country. I mean, easily the best in Pittsburgh. That's called auto fellatio, by the way. Unbelievable. Okay, back to the match at hand. Jesus Christ. Excuse my language. Unbelievable. Okay, these two are just toying with each other now. You know what the thing is? Wait, what, what the hell is Ryan Mitchell doing? Well, he's putting on Joe Brooks' headband. All right, uh, you know what now? You think uh, about it, Mitchell's playing some head games here at Brooks. Yes, Whoa. he is. I think it's time to get down to basics here. Collar and elbow tie up. Uh oh. All right, again, Mitchell now delivering that pressure to that arm. Some dueling chants from the audience as I this was... match starts with a bit of chain wrestling. Yes, and I'll tell you what. We got dueling chants. A Let's Go Brooks chant and a Let's Go Ryan chant. Yeah. It seems like these fans would cheer for anybody against the majority. Got a point there, I guess. Uh, I, like, I like to call that section over there the uh, church's convent. I mean, Ryan Mitchell church's is just confessional. I mean, get it too right. mainstream. Oh, that's, I thought the confessional was here where you sit. No. All right. Tomorrow I learn colors. Back to the matchup now, these two. Uh-oh, these two pretty much know each other left and right now. They've been uh, studying each other's tapes maybe because I'll tell you what, every move has a counter. Not only with Mitchell, but with uh, Brooks too. Again, I hope Ryan has come off of that victory of Shane Taylor. I mean, again, we start a whole new era of matches for Ryan Mitchell. And I hope Ryan Mitchell's mindset isn't like, you know, and I hate to say it, the ego doesn't get the best of some people. Oh, shoulder block by Mitchell. And what a takedown by Mitchell. And Brooks already in trouble. And Ryan Mitchell has never been higher in his career or in his life. I mean, he's shooting for the stars. And he's going to make sure that he goes through anybody who may be in his way. I don't even know what he's saying over there. But uh, again, his crowd is just dueling. Ryan Mitchell actually getting some fans here. And, wow! Did you see the power? Throwing him like a rag doll, the size picture. Usually Ryan Mitchell uh, gets some quips about how small he is for a wrestler, but he's bigger than Joseph Brooks. I just can't believe it. Brooks, man, Brooks can't believe how bad he got tossed there. I mean, Mitchell picked him up like a sack of potatoes. What in the hell was that? This is just chaotic today. Welcome to RWA, folks. This is uh, RWA Fury 2012. RWA, where chaos reigns supreme. <laughs> Got a every point there. Every month, yeah. We finally have a dual champion. Oh, bad timing. Please do not remind me. Yeah. Wait, wait. Oh. 
Little tribute to Cato there by Ryan Mitchell. Again, you know, our prayers go out to him. Ryan Mitchell getting some artwork done, I see, on a photo. Hello, how are you? Oh, thank you so much. Wow. Oh, no. Here she comes. Oh, no. Are you in the yard, boy? What the? Go ahead, say something. You wait until I tell your wife. Wow. Did that just happen? You wait until I tell your wife. Ladies and gentlemen, all of the hassle that Michael Doc Dockery has, has, has gotten from the field that time, I think he just got it all back. In a positive sense, or at least I think so. I, but I did not have sexual relations with this woman. No, no, okay. no. Okay. And I, did you see the reversal Brooks just laid on Mitchell? Mrs. Yeah. Doherty is going to be pissed. Shush. Back to the action again. Brooks uh, only with a two count there. And. Wow. Take over. Oh, Doherty my God. Doherty finally got a kiss from a woman here in RWA. And now he doesn't know what to do. I know one thing, Mitchell I, better get back into the matchup because I'll tell you what, uh, Brooks is actually getting an advantage here. Oh, wait a minute. Mitchell, couple shots to the ribs now. Wait a minute now. Oh, a beautiful beauty. reversal Very, by Joseph Very Brooks. Good. And Brooks and I quitting, snapping that neck forward there. Repetition can cause to be annoying, and I think uh, it was Ryan Mitchell's 14-month title reign as heavyweight champion that maybe created this anti-sediment against him. Hey, he's the most polarizing figure in RWA. Face first, that top turnbuckle. Did you see Brooks just bounce his head like a basketball? Oh, what power! Displayed by Joseph Brooks, and just sending him quarter to quarter here. Oh! But Mitchell answered in a drop kick. Mitchell sending Brooks in the opposite ropes there. Up and a power slam and a beauty. You're killing me. No, I'm just joking, Ben. But back to the matchup. I tell you what, Mitchell is just delivering the goods here. Oh, he's going for that top turnbuckle. Come on, Joe, get out of the way. Are you really? Are you cheering for Joseph? Yes, yes I you am. Are. Cheering for Joseph Brooks. Here he goes. Elbow and a beauty. Only one of the best. Up there, top one. Two and oh my oh. goodness. Two. Mitchell taking a page out of Sarasota, Florida with that elbow drop. Unbelievable. Yeah. Two. Yeah, it was only a two count. I'll tell you what, give Brooks credit for breaking out of that. Uh oh. One of the most feared moves here in RWA, the steel curtain. Can Mitchell land it? Brooks might be a little smart here. Wait a minute, Brooks breaking oh. out of it here, and... Oh! Beautiful oh. reversal. The Rock and Rock is catching him. No! Almost a three count. And That's Joseph Brooks almost pulling off the upset of the century. Oh, he's going back into the corner. He's making sure that he's ready for yet another move. And poor man Zorro can't count. What? You heard me. I'll quit it. He's had a bad day already. I'll sure will go home, put on his cape and his mask and be perfectly fine. Anyways, wait a minute. Ryan rolling him up. Two and three. He got him. Yes. He did. He beat him. No. Out of nowhere, surprising Joseph Brooks. No. I can't I believe it. Joseph Brooks' ego. Ryan Mitchell didn't even know. No. Steel curtain to get the one two. And Brooks is going to attack Mitchell oh, from behind. The frustration. He had the tights. Joseph Brooks is fading back for pulling the tights to win the match. He didn't pull the tights. He pulled the tights. Ah, oh, bull. Never mind. I can't believe it. Oh, my goodness. And Brooks is upset here. People are asking. Oh, my God. There's a chair in the ring. More chairs. Wait a minute here. Joseph Brooks is lining up Ryan Mitchell. <clears throat> oh, here comes Jimmy Nuts. Jimmy Nuts trying to pull the chin. Here comes. Wait a minute. Here we go. And it is a steel curtain. Jimmy 
that's coming out of your thing What are you talking about? You and him are friends. I didn't. I didn't know. Joseph Brooks just got steel curtain. And just think, Joseph Brooks could be Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Nuts is Butler next month. behind females lately I mean Whitney Houston died yeah. so you know they're already pissed off <laughs> so you know right now uh, wow now with this I mean the odds are against Timothy Cash checking out Angel doesn't even have any wrestling experience this shouldn't happen she doesn't have any gear on look at it look how scared she looks thank god she doesn't wear in heels yeah, but then look. again Referee Tim Cash raising the belt. He's shaking his head, too. He cannot believe that this is happening. Don't do this, for God's sakes. This is your last chance to tell the referee that you forfeit. You won't have to go through this. I feel bad actually is in the corner of Angel, which is... Well, you never know where his priorities lie. Am I not mistaken? Right after escorting Kato to the back, who may have a broken freaking neck, he comes out with this guy next as if it never happened. Feel bad is so neurotic. You never know what's on his mind. Am I not mistaken in that Edmonds is currently the longest reigning champion in RWA history? I'll have I'll have to uh, double check that. Uh, did the bell ring yet? Yes, it just rang. Okay. <laughs> Angel is scared to death for Sweden. Oh no. Trouble. You think I should just let that go and not give 
causing trouble. <sighs> He just kicked his own manager. Did he just kick her down? No, no. It was a threat. It was through fear. That's how a person like this man operates. All right. We got one, two. Oh my god, no. What a bastard. Sorry, folks. Oh, oh my. Did he just push her down? It should have been a quick count. It should have been a quick count. Oh my god. Oh, no, 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 no. She just smacked the back of her head off the ring. Someone put a stop to this. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Even the trolls, even the trolls are against Ryan Edmonds in this. That is how much everyone is invested in this situation. Are you kidding? You just kicked her. To wrestling, there's always somebody who starts in the position on the floor. He's going to give her one three. I, I don't know what to say here. Like, I'm sorry, Pitt. I'm not really good commentating. I just can't. Fat. And this is this is sickening. I'm not going to even comment on this. I wish she did have her stiletto. She could give him one right up the. Never mind. Oh my God! Oh, wow. Okay, now he's twisting oh, he's her twisting arm. arm, threatening to, to separate her shoulder. This has gone on far too much. Put a stop to this. This could have been over if he wouldn't have just pulled him. This is just sickening is what this is. Fair my ass. Unbelievable. Oh my God. Oh my God, no.
I is there anybody in the back? Anybody at all? Please, I'm praying. Someone needs to stop this. This isn't even a match. I don't even know why it's for the belt. Angel! Oh no. Good for you. I don't know if that was a good idea, Piff. No, stop! Alright, there's two shots. There you go. Oh my Un I can't no. No 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 Kyle Driver, no! Feel bad! Feel bad, finally! Well, he just Feel bad, just... <laughs> he knocked out the ref! Oh my god! And Mitchell's here! Ryan Mitchell! Thank god! Drop kick! Hit that son of a bitch! Power slam! Thank God! Somebody! Ryan Mitchell lets it know! This is his house and this doesn't happen! Thank God! Somebody has a heart backstage! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, wait. It's about damn time somebody put a stop to this! Feel bad needs to fire him. I mean, he got to the point where he even strained his own man. Hey, honey! Ryan Mitchell, thank God you're here. Oh my God, turn around, Ryan, turn around! Oh my God, did you see how hard he hit him with that belt? There is nothing but carnage around here today, folks. This is unbelievable. Really? Feel bad, where does your priorities lie? The defeat of Ryan Mitchell or the integrity of all women everywhere? I can't believe what we just witnessed. Ryan Mitchell's down, folks, and I'll tell you what, he took a shot. Oh, he's going to be okay. <laughs> Mr. Ryan Ed Edmonds, completely out of control. I, I, I. I think we need to. Uh, I think we need to schedule a match. I mean, he hit him with that belt. Did you see that belt fly off the skull of Ryan Mitchell? Mm. Unbelievable! I did this really just. Hey, I'll tell you what, though. Ryan Mitchell even further. <laughs> I see that one fan who really hates the Steel City Club. He's giving up. Small quiet clap because that man just saved me from probably a broken neck. Uh-oh. Ashton Amherst.
Amherst, meet your opponent. I think you bit off a little more, bit more than you could sh uh, chew here. But then again, again, Ashton Amherst, you know, he was starting to turn a new leaf. He was starting to do, I mean, good. He was starting to do great. I mean, he had the tag team titles with Strider and, of course, stabbing Strider in the back. Yeah. And due to unfortunate circumstances, Strider is not going to be with us for a couple. Uh, as I heard, Strider's well, not going to be back. He, wherever he may be. We do wish him the best of luck, and we hope, I mean, that we if can you see even him say, again, okay. because when you're RWA, you are family, and it doesn't feel the same all the way, I mean, best of luck. Yeah. I just can't believe, like... Future endeavors. Ha! <laughs> I knew it. And I just can't believe that, like, Amherst would turn, and oh my, oh, you're not going to sneak up on our heavyweight champion in that manner. And, uh, these Amherst. two have been through so much and tonight one of them is ending it's good wait a minute are they real? either Calvin McGrath will be rid of Ashton Amherst or we may be looking at the first ever two time RWA heavyweight champion unbelievable now this is a loser leaves but the uh, little subtitle that is loser leaves RWA for the rest of their current contract. I mean, feel bad for his smart as he always wishes to think that he is. Ashton Amherst's contract is four months remaining in it. In Calvin McGrath, it's 10 months. So, yeah, we would be rid of Ashton Amherst, but it certainly wouldn't be as impactful as it would Calvin was. Wait a minute, Ash Amherst <laughs> challenging the heavyweight champ, the future, to a test of strength here. This is about to happen, folks. Amherst, man, I tell you what, he's outmatched here, I think. Wait a minute. Amherst actually winning it. Wait a minute. I don't think, wait a minute, I think Calvin's toying with him. The future is toying with him. What's wrong, Church? You look a little worried. One of your best friends might be hitting the road here. You shut up. <laughs> it's actually a little comical. Oh my. Oh, wait a minute. Look at the power of, excuse me, the Rafa McGrath, you could say. Oh, wow. Look at that. Tossed like a sack of potatoes. Ashton Amherst come crumbling down there. That could be his career here in RWA. He could be gone. There's no way. No, won't happen. Are you gonna cry? 
Just like you did when you got slapped earlier? No. I didn't Because I'm a man. I didn't cry. I was just upset. Alright, Mrs. Red. Oh, kick to the ribs now. Uh, that really didn't affect Calvin too much. Did Calvin McGrath just ask the referee if he kicked him? You know what he's doing right now. He's getting in Amherst's head here. Amherst now, ooh. And, uh, Calvin's just, he doesn't, he's looking for. See what hit him. Yeah, right? He is just toying with Amherst here. He's acting as if Ashton Amherst isn't even You see, fly. if you think about it here, the stress, the more the stress is on uh, Ashton Amherst here, just for the fact, just the fact that Amherst not only can lose his career here in RWA, he also has an opportunity to gain back that RWA Heavyweight Championship. So you have to say the weight is more on Ashton Amherst's shoulders here. And you just saw uh, he had he, he had it checked with the referee, had the referee kick him, and uh, it looked like he felt that one. So what does that say about Amherst? Ah, uh, again, yeah. wait a minute. Uh oh, no, he caught him this time. Oh, into the corner. Vicious clothesline by McGrath. Shoulder block. And Amherst bailing out like a New England Patriot as he just cut leveled. Unbelievable. Uh, all these games that Calvin McGrath are playing are, are entertaining for most of the river dirt here in West Newton. Oh, stop it, the it's, fans. You shut your mouth, they're river dirt to me, and I will call them that till the day I die. Well, it might be entertaining to them, it's not entertaining to Ashton Amherst. Granted, Calvin McGrath has got the quote unquote better of him at this moment. But when the final bell rings, we'll find out who actually has the best match. And the career is still here in RWA. Unbelievable. Straight kicks there by Calvin McGrath. And he is now punishing. This entire match has been McGrath. He's in total control. Wait a minute. It tells oh everybody to shush. Something is about to be served up here, and it is going to hurt. Ow! Can somebody say ouch? Calvin McGrath is having a little bit of fun. Wait a minute here. What the... McGrath showing off a fan sign now, and oh, what a kick. It hurts being kicked by him. Wait a minute here. Oh, couple shots here. McGrath now just pretty much toying, torturing Amherst right now. He's providing the RWA fans with what looks like. But wait a minute. Of course. Oh, wait a minute. Now, he felt that. Yeah, I was about to. Now well, that one he felt. What a kick to the face by Ashton Amherst, and I'll tell you what, and the beauty. I'll actually give it up to Amherst on that one. Wow. A side savant kick by Ashton Amherst. It looked like Kevin McGrath was giving the fans one last look at his challenger, because I mean, he may be out of here, but the tables have been turned oh, and the champ. Face first into the pole, and Ashton Amherst has officially 110% took over this match. Calvin McGrath felt that one, I can guarantee it. And I'll tell you what, Amherst is fighting for his life here, but so is so is McGrath though. Both these guys' careers, both these guys' careers now, wait a minute. Oh, he's got that ball back. Uh-oh. Good God. He tried to take his head off. I cannot believe Amherst just did that, and I can't believe that, wow. That's a plastic bat, too. You can swing that a lot faster. Unbelievable. Ashton's in trouble now. He's running away here. Where's Calv? Calv is getting up for that. Oh, no. Look Calvin at the... Upset. You think? Just a little. With that mohawk. Oh, they're thinking. back here by the, the, the sound guys and everything. This is just going to get out of hand. 
and see how his jaw is. Wait a minute. Oh my god, no. Calvin looks like a piranha. Is, is this, this really going to happen? There's a lot of man oh, right now. Wait a minute. Oh my god, no, 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 no. And Calvin just got stopped by Amherst. That could have hurt, folks. Oh no, he got that that tape. The police He's got that caution tape. And he's just choking Amherst now with or Amherst is choking him with it now. Sorry, folks, we're trying to call this the best we can. Just fans everywhere. I'm trying to look at the action. Amherst is running away here. I didn't think about this. What if one of them wins by like a count out? But I think there's I think the disqualification and count out are gone. Back and forth they go. Where they stop nobody goes. Fans get out of the way. I just hope they don't come over here. And the match, thank God, is back in the ring. These two already. See, he's cheering for Ashton Amherst, as everyone should be. Yeah, but half the majority of the crowd wants Calvin. Calvin McGrath at top, what is he planning here? I don't know, but you realize that's a lot of weight coming down on you. Yes, it is. A lot of, a lot of we know solid this. muscle. A lot of solid muscle there. McGrath to the top rope. Whoa, attempted almost a frog splash. Amherst out of the way. What? And he it, almost hit the light in the ceiling. And Calvin McGrath is down, folks. This could be the end of his RWA career. Can Ashton Amherst capitalize? One, One two, two and three. No. Amherst, almost. That was a three. I can't believe it, folks. I tell you what, that was almost a three count there. Yeah, almost, almost needs to put a Zorro mask back. Almost on. a three count. And I tell you what, I can't believe this. What the heck is going on here? Feel bad, of course, being the weasel that he is. He's not a weasel. Oh, he's something. And what a kick to the head. And I'll be surprised if McGrath does not have a concussion after that one. I mean, wow, what a kick to the skull. Are you serious? His foot are on a... There is no count outs, no disqualification. I can't believe this. This is crazy. Are we going to have a suplex in out? Wow! Oh! That was a snap suplex if I ever saw one. And I tell you what, no one delivers, delivers it better than Ash Namerst. Oh, almost a three. I thought it was going to be a three, but it's going to take a lot of punishment. It's going to have to take a lot of endurance on Amherst's part to beat a powerhouse like the future Calvin McGrath. And I think he can do it. Well, he's delivering a lot of punishment. Now, look at that knee just drove into the spine of McGrath here. McGrath now in trouble. But wait a minute. He's trying to fight back here, though, Church. I don't know. Wait a minute, McGrath trying to feel the power of his. Oh. oh my God, another kick to the back of the head. I said it once, I'll say it again. I'm surprised he doesn't have a concussion after that. A rear chin lock becoming a snap kick to the temple. Ashton Amherst giving it a little extra goose. Oh. And he laid it, he laid it down good. I'll tell you what, a Amherst. A elbow drop in the second row. No! Almost! Now why am I arguing Quit with fighting. idiots? What? Don't call our fans idiots. He likes you, he's an idiot. Unbelievable. Okay, back to the matchup. Oh, oh now Amherst applying pressure to the back of Calvin. He's got him in a camel clutch position. Think about it. Calvin's had two big kicks to the back of the head. Now all this the pressure to his spine, I mean. I'm surprised he equal strength. <coughs> oh, kick to the ribs. Amherst knows what's what's what, what's up for grabs here. Not only is the RWA title up for grabs, both careers at stake here. Ashton getting ready. 
One of his patented maneuvers. One he's really known for here and up. Oh my god. Feud caught him in the future shock, I think. Oh, uh, that was in the future shock. That no. Was, that was like a, uh, like a cutter position. Almost like a tailor cutter. A little unorthodox in its execution. But it's knocked Ashton off his feet and he's down. I tell you what, though. Now calling for the fans. The thing is, if McGrath catches him in that Wrath of McGrath, it's over. You know that. No one has gotten out of that move. Except the Still City Prodigy, Ryan Mitchell. But back to the point at hand. Look at this. He can't even. Both of them slow to get up. It's like watching Rocky all over again. Ashton Amherst to his feet first. That says a lot about him. He did it. Ashton Amherst has oh, proven he wants this more. I mean, he has a lot oh, more to stick. Yeah. Wait a minute. In the future. Baby gorilla, you love so much. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Whoa. Uh oh, he just caught him. He's caught him by the throat. No. Wait a minute. Oh, how's your Olsen twins, Mr. Amherst? Atomic I drop. I don't think I've ever seen a choke. And a it's kick to the head. Drop a big spin kick. Drop kick. Tons and Amherst is in trouble. Power slam and a beauty. Dear God. Can it happen here? Two and no. 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 Two count on. Only a two count. I'll tell you what. Whew. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, wait, what's Phil Bad doing? Phil Bad, Phil Bad slithering in the ring here. Going for the breath, breath of McGrath. Wait a minute, he's... Phil Bad just put it to Habaj on the wrath of McGrath. Does he understand what he just did? We might see two people leaving our... Oh my God. R.I.P. Dr. Phil Bad. And wait a minute, what Amherst. The hell? Amherst just caught McGrath with a, I think it was an Instagram. I wasn't too sure. I was looking at Phil Bad. One, two, this could be it. Oh my God. We almost had a new heavyweight champion, and Calvin McGrath was almost out of here, guys. Can you just feel the intensity, the tension? Both these guys, their careers are at stake here. Just beating the ever-living snot out of each other. These guys have gone 15 minutes straight. And, oh, knee to the face. Uh, Here comes. Wait a minute. Oh, oh my him. God. Power oh, on. He beat Valentine last month. Can it happen? Oh. One, two, and no. Very close to three. Ashton Amherst just saved himself from being in the unemployment line. That is what Ashton Amherst is all about. Don't get me wrong, Church, I will say he is one of the most talented wrestlers to ever walk here. No, to ever head. walk, yes. In You're general, correct. to ever walk in general. But to ever, how can I put this? In RWA history, one of the best. But my God, he just showed it right there. Oh, Fisherman oh, suplex. One, say two, and no! Perfectly executed. Perfect. And then super suplex there. Almost said superplex. Yeah. I'm taking my cues from you. Good yeah, right. Help us all. Anyways, back to the match. Ashton Amherst pulling everything out of his arsenal here to try to, like, pretty much minimize the beast known as Calvin McGrath. McGrath is down. If Amherst lands this, this could be it, folks. To the top! Oh. Elbow drop and a beauty. Can Amherst do it? A wink and a nod to Ryan Mitchell there. One, two, two and no! Not three. <coughs> three. Not three. Unbelievable. These fans are actually arguing if it was a two or three. That referee needs to put on his Zorro mask and learn how to count. I don't know where you're getting the Zorro mask from. Johnny Mac talked to me at intermission, fretting about the uh, unseen decision he had to make with Terry Wren. Yeah, but oh He's my God, wait a sure. minute. Look oh. what it is. His... <coughs> it's done. It's over. That's Two his finisher. Three. Calvin McGrath has just broken out of that. 
Not many people have walked away to say they've done that to Ashton Amherst. Calvin McGrath is still alive, folks. He is still alive. That was a three count. Everybody knows it. Oh, shut up, Church. For once in your damn life, shut up. This is going to be the same kind of three count that happened with Andre the Giant and Hulk Hogan. Andre got screwed that night. Oh, stop it. Ashton looking up. He's almost to the top right, but wait a minute. McGrath's coming to his senses, Piv. Oh, no. Oh, dear God. To the second rope. Wait a minute here. Oh, oh no. no. Wrath no. of McGrath. He got him. Oh, no, my God. This could be him. it. Did you see him catch him in the air? pin him. No. One, One, two, three. It's over. What? Ashton Amherst is gone. Ashton Amherst is gone. No. Folks, oh my god, Ashton Amherst is about no. to. I can't believe it. Say something real quick. Whether you love me or you hated me, and you probably hated me. You guys need to realize something with people coming and people going. RWA has been the next big thing for about two. Wow. And no matter who you see on a poster, that guy's going to promote his ass off for it. You guys are going to fill this place up. And you got nothing but good things to come to RWA. And uh, Calvin McGrath beat me tonight because he was a better man. But in pro wrestling, there's no such thing as goodbye. So, uh, West Newton, we'll see you later. I tell you what, Amherst, that was classy. I give it to you. I give it to you. This has been a memorable night. We have a. If I could break to the sun, make you fall in love, give it up to Ashton Amherst. The end of an era. He takes RWA 